What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel where I do cooking videos. In this video I'm starting a new series called Macro Friendly Monday. Macronutrients or macros make up the foods we eat and consist of proteins, carbohydrates and fats. If it fits your macros is a style of eating where you focus on just reaching those thresholds of your macros based on what your goals are, whether it's weight loss, gaining muscle, or bulking. Now here's where the cooking part comes in. Anyone that knows me knows that I love to cook, eat, and try new foods. So even though I'm trying to gain some muscle, I'm not gonna sit around and eat bland chicken breast and sweet potatoes every night. No, I wanna focus on foods that enrich my taste buds and hit on all five of the different tastes, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. So these are the dishes that you'll see me cook and hopefully you try them too. Additionally, I try to make my meals as budget friendly as possible because another great benefit of cooking your own meals is the ability to save tons of money when compared to eating out. In summary, macro friendly Monday meals will consist of these three criteria. One, if it fits the macros, two, foods that are budget friendly, and three, and most importantly in my opinion, is foods that taste good. Now without further ado, let's start the first episode where I'm making a gourmet bro meal that consists of Asian style chicken, aromatic rice, and blackened vegetables. So to start off, here's just a quick look at some of the ingredients. We got chicken thighs, rice, broccoli, carrots, and then ginger and garlic, and then some Asian flavors with the sesame oil, soy sauce, rice vinegar, etc. And this is what it's going to turn into. So to start off, we're working with the marinade for the chicken. So I'm just putting in about a tablespoon of rice vinegar, tablespoon of chili garlic paste, tablespoon of soy sauce, and then just a little cap full of sesame oil. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, just give that a quick mix, and then we'll uh, start deboning our chicken. So for the chicken, you can get boneless uh, cuts of chicken if you want. This will work great with chicken breasts, you know, thighs, really anything. But uh, I, I just got uh, the bone in. Um, they're a little cheaper. And then you could just bone them quickly like that, kind of follow along the bone, and then peel off the skin. And you have, you know, two great pieces of chicken. And in my opinion, more flavorful. There's a little bit higher fat content. So uh, I usually go chicken thighs. Now just put the chicken in the marinade, and then we're gonna cover it and pop it in the fridge. And you probably want to leave it for at least an hour. Um, you can go, you know, a day if you want, but I would say at bare minimum, try to do an hour. Now we're on to chili oil, a great little treat for Asian dishes. So I'm just throwing in some spices. That's star anise, arbol chilies, sesame seeds, and Korean pepper powder. And you're just going to mix this with some vegetable oil that was over medium heat. And this is going to give you an insane colored oil with a nice, subtle, chili flavor to it i love keeping this on hand just you make a bunch and then you can just save it for whenever you need it so strain that off and then look at the color on that now we're into the vegetable portion gonna start our rice dish by getting some ginger and garlic giving it a rough chop and if you ever need to skin garlic you can just use a spoon like that quick easy trick if you don't have the uh, the peeler so we're gonna chop our garlic little two times speed so we don't have to watch through the whole thing and then once this is all diced up we're just gonna throw this in with our rice so I use jasmine rice I think it tastes the best um, might not be the most healthy rice you know like brown rice but again taste matters so you got to go jasmine rice and then we're going to put that over uh, medium high heat until it boils and then as soon as it boils turn it down to low for like 15 to 20 minutes now we're going to get cracking on our blackened vegetables so i've just got carrots and broccoli and then for the carrots i'm going to cut them into matchsticks so kind of cut in half and then cut them lengthways, and then cut them lengthways again into these little matchsticks. And then we're also just gonna give the broccoli just a rough chop, uh, cut it into little pieces, kind of do it however you want. 
and then we're gonna start preparing them. So we're gonna take that chili oil we made earlier and this is gonna be used to saute and blacken the vegetables. So I've got a wok on medium high heat and you definitely want that sizzle to be in the pan when you throw your vegetables in because we're looking to get a little bit of char. So you want some little blackened bits on there and that's gonna give it a lot more flavor than if you were to slowly saute them. See that close up with the blackened pieces? That's what you're looking for. And then just to finish those off, uh, throw in some sesame seeds. They uh, add some nice little extra flavor. And then you can see our rice is done. You see the garlic and ginger on top there. And now we're on to the chicken. So I'm just using that same pan. Uh, didn't add any extra oil. Um, you know, I already had enough in there. So medium high heat, because I'm trying to get some caramelization after a couple minutes on each side. And then once that done, just transfer everything over and we are ready to plate our Asian chicken, aromatic rice, and blackened vegetables. Here is the final product. And here we are all plated up. So I'm gonna run through the calories and price. 565 calories, 51 grams carbs, 25 grams protein, 18 grams fat, and then for the price is 234. And this is per serving based on what is on the plate. So that will wrap it up for this macro-friendly Monday meal. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, try out this recipe. Uh, as always, uh, subscribe and leave a like and hope to see you in the next one. Keep on cooking.